Hey, what's happening, guys? This morning, I want to talk a little bit about linear voltage regulators versus buck converters, or DC to DC step-down converters. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using each? So let's start out real quick and talk about a linear voltage regulator. This is an LM7805 really simple to use you give it you know between 7 and 12 volts you put an input and an output capacitor on it to smooth things out and let me fix this so we don't have that glare and on the output you get you know 5 volts or very close to it no problems whatsoever. Over here we have a uh, buck converter, DC DC step down converter, based on the uh, what is that chip called? The LV2596. So again, we're feeding it in this case uh, seven volts in, and if we check the output voltage. In this case, we're getting 5.1, but that can be adjusted simply with that potentiometer there. So, as I simply demonstrated here, both of these will do the job just fine. But, here is where the first caveat comes in, especially of the uh, linear voltage regulator. Boy, I couldn't get my brain to make those words come out, could I? Let's put a load on them. And for load, I'm simply going to use these little 12 volt bulbs. So let me get that set up real quick. All right, I just took a wire from the output leg there. And we'll plug it in just like that. Over here, same bulb. And we will plug it in here. So I can get the little legs to go in. That's always a problem, isn't it? There we go. So now we've loaded up both of our converters. And if we check the voltages again, here, I'm going to check them right on the output here. 5.070. So they're still both close enough to 5 volts. Well, in just a minute or two, this LM7805 is going to become hot to the touch. It is pulling. Let me pop out this one so I'm just checking. Yes, yeah, pulling 160 milliamps. So I'm going to let this sit here and cook for a minute or two. And then we'll come back and we can talk about the temperature. It's just been a couple minutes, two or three minutes, bringing this meter that has a uh, temperature measuring capability. When we have a K-type thermocouple, you can see in my room it is 65.6 uh, .6 degrees Fahrenheit. And for those of you who have yet to put a man on the moon, that would be 18.7 degrees centigrade. And then we're just going to put this little temperature sensor here on the back of our uh, 7805 temperature sensor. And it's pulling 165 milliamps. We are already up to 37 degrees centigrade or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, at about 120 degrees centigrade, this L um, uh, 7805 is going to shut itself off. It is going to thermally regulate and shut off. 
Now let's go over here. We'll, we'll let that cool back down a little bit. And we will check the buck regulator, which I think you will see should be running much cooler. Right, let's get in there and we'll. So 24, maybe 25 degrees. Was that uh, the other one was what 34? This is 24. So 10 degrees Celsius cooler on the same um, load. Fahrenheit. That one was 98. This is 77. So you can see there is quite a big difference in the temperature between the two of these. And again, we're only pulling 165 milliamps here. If you start pulling, you know, why won't you shut off? Oh, because that thing's in there. Um, if you start pulling half an amp or more on these, you're definitely going to want to have to put a big old heat sink on there, which is fine. I mean, this is the way we've done things for years and years. But, you know, if you have a small enclosure and, it, say, it doesn't have proper airflow, that's going to pose a problem. So it seems like, then, the buck converter is the best choice, right? Well, in a lot of cases it is, but there's some specific cases where it's not. And that all revolves around that guy right there. It's an inductor. Inductors can be noisy, RF noisy. They can create a little bit of interference in your circuit. So if you're working on a sensitive circuit, a radio circuit, um, some type of sensitive measuring circuit, then the buck converter is probably not going to be the best bet. And you're going to want to go with the old school voltage regulator because it is um, electrically quiet. But there you go, voltage regulator versus buck converter. They're both about the same degree of ease to set up. They both do the same function. They just do it in different ways. The uh, LVR dissipates the excess voltage as heat. This one is a switching regulator. It's turning off about 200 to 250,000 times per second to just chop it up. So you pick whatever's best for you. But uh, now you know how to choose. All right? If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.